The van exploded just after 10 o'clock last night at the store on Clinton Street in the town of Campbell. It left two men injured, one seriously. News 8's Lou Hillman joins us now with more on what caused the explosion. Lou? Well, Mike, authorities say an ill-timed cigarette break led to this powerful explosion. And now they're reminding people about the dangers of transporting flammable materials. Police dashboard cam video shows the van still fully engulfed in flames when the first officer arrives on scene. Everybody get back over here! Within minutes, firefighters arrive and start dousing the blaze. A witness describes to police what she saw happen. And um, I was getting my wallet out of my purse, and all of a sudden I just hear this boom, and I'm like, oh my god, and I look up and this guy's van on, is on fire, and I'm thinking, oh my god, it's just flushed open. Mm -hmm. And I see him running out the back. Authorities say the whole incident was completely avoidable. The men were exchanging a propane gas tank at the store. They had actually lit a cigarette in the vehicle and that we believe that some LP gas was present in the vehicle when a cigarette was lit. Campbell Fire Chief Nate Melby says thankfully the van was far enough away from the gas pumps to not cause more damage. But he says this is a reminder about the dangers of driving around with a propane tank in your car. It's important to transport them uh, so that they're not laying on their side. Their, their top is up just like they're designed to be, that the valves are closed completely and that any other secondary safety devices like caps are put in place so that you don't have any leakage. Now the driver of the vehicle, John Bubbers, is at the burn center in Madison. He suffered third degree burns and is in serious condition. The passenger, Mike, suffered non-life threatening injuries. Thanks, Lou. The fire did cause some damage to the Quick Trip store as well. Most of the siding on the west side of the building was melted.